Hey everybody, NWA Prepper here. So today I want to bring up, I want to bring up water storage because it's something that is, I guess, easily overlooked. I, myself included. Sorry, I'm not feeling well, so I'm trying to stay hydrated. So water storage is something that everyone kind of seems their first, the first shot out of the gate is I'm going to go buy a, a case of, of water from, you know, the grocery store. And I'm going to have that case of water bottles and then slide it in the closet and it, there I'm good. The problem with those containers is they're not made, they're not intended to be in that container forever. So that container degrades and gets fragile. And then as I have learned in my emergency pantry, and I had them stacked on top of each other, the bottom case, just over time, all of a sudden, one of the bottles failed and then another and then another. And of course I didn't notice it for, cause I didn't go in there every day. So I didn't notice it for a long time. And then it ended up that I had half a case of busted water that had poured over the floor and it sat there and it ruined some things um, and caused, you know, caused damage to the flooring and all kinds of things. And so since then, I've learned that you need to store, it is better. Now, I still have a couple cases of Sam's Club, $3.50 for 40 bottles of water. We still have, holy cow. I bet there are three of those in constant rotation between my house, my truck, and my wife's vehicle. Never stops being rotated. We pick it up. Um. It's not because we don't have regular reusable containers. We have tons of them. Uh, the convenience factor alone, and I'm, I'm just gonna tell you that's what it is. It's convenient to have it, to throw it in a little cooler or a little box, and we do. And, and so we have those, we probably go through, I'm gonna say in the summer, we probably go through one of those a month. And then in the winter, we probably go through two over the winter. And if we go to a barbecue or if we go camping or something, then we use the whole case. Uh, and that is in, in addition to other forms of water. So what I want to talk about is some ways that you can store water that you got to put some forethought into. If all you can do is buy that case of water, fine, buy it. And the next time you buy one, take that, that other one and use it and rotate and keep those containers as fresh as you can. Um, that's hard to do things like this guy and I got this this is called the water brick and it stacks I mean it's designed like a, a water Lego a water container Lego it's got the spigot in here this was not my first one my first one was a reliant uh, a reliant blue water jug that was I want to say it's a four four or five gallon maybe they may be fives those were the first ones that i bought and i bought a couple of those uh, buy a couple of those uh, how much do those hold yeah i think th i think they're five gallons anyway so i i started with two of those for each member of my family to include our pets just for just for the sake of it and then since then uh, those containers have become too large for my wife or and bulky and hard to carry and move around and so then i found a few of these at a um i got these at a yard so i got these somewhere odd and so i got five or six of these and these are great these do not hold much water um, other than being made in America, where does it say how much water it is? It doesn't. I would imagine this is maybe a gallon and a half. Maybe two gallons. Sorry, I don't know. I'll find out and I'll try to put it up. It'll be up here somewhere. So I had a couple of these. And they're great for moving around the house or moving around where I need to move water a little bit at a time. Those Reliant ones from... The big blue store are great. And then I came across this bad boy. 
And this is a, a heavy duty uh, military water can. And, uh, and I got this guy in all its greatness from a place in Fort Smith called uh, Infinity Sports. It used to be A to Z Sports and they had them for like 20 bucks. And so I bought one. And this particular one has been in my truck for it. Well, he, it's been in my truck since I got a truck. So I've only had a truck about four years. And so I go through that water very regularly. I keep it full. I clean it out. It is what it today is, is today is last weekend or weekend before last was change my batteries and my clocks or my smoke alarms and my flashlights. Today is uh, sanitize and swap out my water containers. And so that is, believe it or not, that takes that takes some time um, because I dump it out. Uh, and depending, uh, my water, my garden rain catchment is not very full or it was not. And so I took them out and I dumped them into my rain catchment which is just a 55 gallon drum right now. It's no nothing share worthy yet. It's coming, but it's not there yet. And uh, so I emptied that and that filled it up. And then the rest, I you know, I put on the bushes or I've scattered around. I haven't dumped it down the drain. I paid for it. I don't want to put it down the drain. And uh, so I want to put it on plants, whether it's just my bushes or, or uh, compost. I've dumped some in my compost pile to keep some moisture in that and that a lot of people don't do that but if it looks too dry when i turn it then i spray a little water on it anyway so today is time to sanitize and clean and sanitize those and, and to do the things i even do is like i will wipe these down with a, a gun oil cloth anything that's metal um, most of them don't have metal but these guys do and i don't i don't want that to break down or get rusted you should do it too and if all you can do is one gallon from the store right now that's fine but you need to have and it depends on who you ask and what you know and what what you're preparing for and all this you need to have a, a minimum a bare minimum of a gallon a day my preferred number is three gallons a day a gallon for cooking, a gallon for sanitation, and a gallon just because. Um, or for drinking, I mean. Uh, it's a... Uh, yeah, we just... We're a society that's used to open the tap, and there is water, and so that's going to be a hard thing to wean. And so my goal is three gallons of water per day, and in my home, this yellow and green building behind me in there there is 70 oh my goodness hmm let's see a couple hundred 250 260 gallons uh, in the house I don't have to go anywhere to get it I don't have to go outside. That's not outside. Outside we have today another 55 gallons out there. I have a creek um, within a very, very short walking distance. Uh, not that I want to haul water from the creek, but I but I can. I have containers that I can do that with. And, uh, but you need to be able to store water and and to do that. It doesn't have to be frustrating. You can do what you can do today and work from there. So I know this video is long and I'm sorry, but I had a lot to say. So let me know about how you feel about water storage. You don't have to tell me all the, the things that you have or anything. I'll never ever ask that, but I'd certainly like to hear your input down below. Let's get ready.